Hello, speech class. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Akers, and today I will be talking about the Zoller Golf Course. So I don't know how many of you actually play golf, or have you even been over to the golf course recently, or if you have an apartment, then you probably have been close to the golf course to know that there is construction going on pretty heavily for the new dorms. So normally this isn't that big of a deal, but unfortunately it is right on the golf course range. So this brings forth a lot of problems and problems that have been there before. So the Zollner golf course just has not been the best conditions lately. It's been struggling. Um, unfortunately, as I said earlier, there's a lot of construction going on in the range. So this brings forth the problem of obviously the noise, but they're building it basically on the range. So what this has caused is in my flyer, there is a huge strip around where the old range is and kind of building new to the construction of just dirt and seed for grass and just straw, and it's a really big mess. So this has caused an overall appearance of just garbage on the range, and it's actually to the point where trying um, golf team members are now going to have to go out to the range and pick up golf balls because they're not able to run at the range, cart around the range, which typically this would be a job done by the golf course and very quick and very simple. And it's just something that they can't do anymore because the range has been destroyed and they're working on it, but it's not the greatest and they could be doing way, way better. So that's very unfortunate. Obviously construction is not the best, but that's all that brings forth. The next problem is the construction's literally on the range. Now I'm going to bring I'm going to show this folder again right here where the building is right there. And I took this picture while standing on the range and um, this brings forth another issue of how those buildings are getting hit. I saw a from the golf team hit there a day on accident. I mean it's just if you miss hit a shot and you're over there it's a good chance you're going to hit the building. So I have a solution for this and that is to put up a golf net. And I know if you live in a golf course apartment that's towards the end and you want to park your car towards the end, you will 100% agree because balls go flying over those apartments all the time. I've seen cars get hit on accident. I've seen I've seen Moyer get hit the other day. I saw Moyer got hit the other day from on the range and a golf ball went around the new construction and into Moyer. And that is a shot to take. And that should not be possible. You should not You should not be sitting there in the morning. And this is a 100% true story. And you're just sitting there chilling, and a ball comes flying through your apartment window. The golf course needs to take some action, trying, someone needs to take some action. And someone needs to own up to the fact that golf balls are going to hit people's property and are hitting people's property. And this is not only obviously dangerous for people walking by, but it's costing people damage. I honestly don't know how there hasn't been a lawsuit or anything filed against people as. On a normal golf course, if you hit a house and you cause damage, the person who hits the ball has to pay the damage because there's a sign put up. And people typically, I've seen people have nets blocking the tee box because they don't want balls to hit on the tee box, much less expensive cars and buildings. You would think Trine would want to fix this. It's going to cause damaged windows. So a net has to go up. This is for the safety of the students and to protect property. This is a must. I mean, I can't believe this has not happened yet. Um, and then if you continue to look at the range, you can actually see also on the photo the quality of the range. It's currently just a bunch of divots and it's horrible. So typically pre-season during the winter time, golf courses would like to maintain the range and get it back up to operating use because nobody's been using it. This is the perfect time to do it. And obviously it's going to be a little bit worse because we've had an early season, but they did nothing. The range is exactly how it was before the season. They knew anything to fix it. And this has led to the golf team having to hit off a of mats, which is just completely unacceptable for a mid-season golf team. I mean, this is a college golf course where the teams are having to hit off a of mats. We've had to go out and hit on the actual golf course just because there's just no range to hit on. I mean, you're wasting your time hitting off a of mats during the middle of the season. It's really sad to see and. The fact that this has not been addressed is crazy. So in order to fix this one, it is the exact same as the range. 
you just got to put seed on it. You got to actually take the time and effort to maintain your range. You got to look for all the imperfections and fix it. It's not that complicated. Most of even the crabby courses are able to maintain their range properly because ranges can be make a lot of money just because you'll come out and hit balls, especially on a college. I mean, I know a ton of people that would want to just go out and hit golf balls. I'm like, it's mats only. And they're like, what's the point of that? I just, if you want to hit off a mats, go top golf. It's way more fun than hanging off a mats. I mean, you're not going to get good practice in. So, and then moving past the range, we also run into issues with the golf course. It's in just horrible shape. So to st- so just to show a picture, this is about what every single tee box looks like. So the range and tee boxes, if you want to practice for the golf course, practice on the crappy range because it's about the same right now. And this is a picture of trying golf course in 2015 in absolutely mint condition. I looked at old photos of the trying golf course and I was amazed by the difference of how it went from something that was really good and it's the only reason that it's still recognized and like golf digesting and like these journals is because it used to be good and it's on a college campus it's simple as that if it wasn't on a college campus it would be nothing because there's not much else to the course it's not like it has good quality like it used to to the point where the tee boxes are useless the rough is not even the same grass in all the places you got weeds going everywhere um the heather area, the area that's supposed to be taller grass, it's just like mad down. It's almost like it's almost like a cornfield that's been harvested. So it's really matted down. It's easy to lose balls. It's a really, really ugly heather. Um, the bunkers, you can't play a normal sand shot. It, they're just too thick, which is the exact opposite of how you want it. There's ways to drain out the bunkers. They are choosing not to do that. They need to put new sand in them. They are choosing not to do that. So overall, there's a bunch of problems with the bunkers, the rough, the heather. And you get to the fairway, and just sometimes there's just patches missing. And then the worst part, the rest can be tolerated. You can hit off tees on tee boxes. It's going to mess with your sand a little bit, but it's not the worst part. The worst parts of the greens between the mole holes and the burnt patches and just all the mold and crap is on the green that they're just not taken care of the greens are just it's crazy you can't play on a green that is not consistent and these greens are the epitome of inconsistent it's just overall they need to move on and take their losses and just work on it i know from what i've heard from the staff they have the facilities to like make this better like they have green they have the rollers for the greens and they just aren't using them it's so bad to the point where my golf coach um coach sanjo i interviewed him and he said he's embarrassed to take people to zolner which is the golf course um he said he has to apologize whenever sony comes over just because the golf course is in horrible condition and people are like what is this um, nobody wants to take to, nobody wants to take a golf team to a course where the putting green is completely different than the actual greens, and he expressed that pretty clearly. So overall, it's just they need to put in the main the main thing they need to work on is the first thing: put in the net, protect your students, protect their property. It's basic safety. You're gonna have camp safety out. Put up a freaking net. Very simple. And then the next thing you need to do is take care of the course. There's no take care right now. Um, an overall improvement just needs to be made. Bring it back to its glory day. Make it the green that it used to be. So right now it's just pathetic. And yeah, I have my three sources at the bottom up here. My coach. And then two websites. I hope that comes out clear. And then I discuss these points today in my speech. So thank you for listening. I hope something gets done about the golf course before I'm the senior, because right now it is not fun to play on. Thank you for watching.